look at that. Yeah, all right. Oh, yes, very powerful, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? What's up? All right, guys, yes. This is my anti-aircraft tank and this is built without using the scaling tool, alright! So yes guys, as you can see, the details of this tank is like built with the scaling tool, right? Because as you can see, this is curvy, this is slopey, uh, this is well detailed, alright? And look at the linings, alright? The slopes, the star, look at that, the star is flat and these blocks are flat so it's like being built with the help of the scaling tool but guys yes no scaling tool is required to build this well of course guys in this video i will show you how to build this and it's a full tutorial guys so yes you can definitely build this easily it's super easy guys one of the easiest builds that i ever built <laughs> all right and yes this is very very powerful this is uh fee bp material because guys these two barrels have auto minigun. Yes, I used auto miniguns for this. By the way, guys, yes, the auto minigun have a separate tutorial video, a full tutorial video, guys. So, uh, yes, I suggest you do that uh, auto minigun so that you can apply it also with your other build. And, of course, with this anti-aircraft tank. All right. So, yes, I'll show you the details again. So, these have a custom tank truck so very basic build guys well because again this is built without using the scaling tool so this is basic but i turned the color into black so that it is not noticeable that this is basic so as you can see there is also some tank trucks cover all right really nice detail because this is pointy and this is slopey and with this lining these are actually rods by the way yes i use this all right trowel tool it's very very helpful by the way yes these are the auto mini guns so yes 40 mini guns on each uh, barrel so very powerful guys uh, as of today uh, well I, n I never tested this yet but guys um, yeah perhaps in some other days I will use this for VBPs perhaps uh, yeah I'll, I'll do it guys I'll do it yeah I'm really excited to use this for free BPs or maybe if you're watching this now maybe I already uploaded a free BP video of this and yes guys again super excited to do that well of course this is very functional the turret can rotate 360 degrees actually and well of course this is this can point up and down and I added this switch very important switch so this switch is for the mini guns all right and this switch is for this so this is some kind of a satellite a custom satellite or radar all right and these are some gear like blocks that i use guys yeah no scaling tool needed to do this so yes and of course these are wheels to control the turret and the barrels i also added this access system so there's some vents or you know some kind of a radiator and uh, turn it into orange to turn it looks to make it looks hot and uh, yes of course the torches it will create fire trails all right so the back part is kind of flat here but there's a slope slope under so yeah the front part slopey yes so look at that beautiful one well of course uh, well then check anchor now well yeah so the design of this uh, you know chair you know it's open it is like my TOS dash one so yeah the Russian built TOS one. So by the way, you should uh, yeah, select all and then turn off aim. All right, there you go. But of course, this is powered by both engines. All right, there you go. As you can see, the fire trail, it's moving fast, very easy to control. All right, and of course, the turret. Yes, the, oh, what's that? <laughs> the turret can be controlled, so it can point up. Oh, it can point up and down, of course. And then, yes, control it, it will rotate 360 degrees. And of course, yeah, I forgot. I should turn on the satellite. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one. Yeah, the collision is off. Yeah, I, I think I double press it. There you go. Yes, it is now rotating like a real satellite. All right, there you go. So, of course, you can point up and down. And let us turn on. Yes, look at that. Oh, yes. Very powerful, guys. Really, really powerful. Look at that. Yes, it can even point up, point down. So, 
anti-aircraft guys look at that yes imagine this guy shooting this with an fighter jet or any other planes this is devastating guys well of course you can change you know the direction of the barrel of the firing yes and of course guys not only this is an anti-aircraft tank you can also use this for shooting other tanks or other vehicles like ships but of course tanks again and jeeps trucks cars even uh, other players of course so yes this is a multi-purpose tank and yes look at that this is gonna be awesome for pvp guys <laughs> look at that yeah all right really awesome continuous shooting unlimited ammo all right this is gonna be awesome guys so guys i'm sure you are excited to build this awesome anti-aircraft tank so by the way if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe now and click the notification bell and please like and share the video so guys thank you for watching it's time for you to build this time for me to teach you how to do this guys all right take care enjoy guys Hee hey guys what's up what's up all right let us start building now so yes in this build guys i don't use scaling tool but i will use troll tool to make life easier but of course guys if you don't have troll tool you can still build this all right because the steps is very very easy so i will start with obsidian blocks because we will start with the tank trucks so one two three four five all right i do that because i want my build floating not touching the ground so here we go i gotta place one and two all right and then yes the rotation is correct move is correct so make one rotation and then place one block all right and then delete this one so make two one two rotations and then place one block here and then one two three all right place a block and then here and then one two three four five uh no 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 just four one two three and four there you go and then one two three four five and then one two three four uh no need actually just place one block here and also here all right so now we can clone this all right using the clone tool oops wait my actually my mouse is kind of malfunctioning so there you go all right yes and then switch to rotate rotate it like this there you go all right so we can delete this part now all right and then i'm gonna place one two three four five and then one two three four five i think that's enough yes then i gotta delete this one part okay and then i gotta clone this all right there you go and then we gotta rotate this like this all right yes and i will make this double so i gotta clone this all right just move it one like that there you go and then of course uh we gotta clone this maybe i will switch to 20. all right and then gotta move it there you go all right so now we have the tank trucks all right so i think yeah i think th this is too wide i uh, will make some adjustments maybe one and two there you go i think yeah this one is now correct well of course now you can turn this into black all right there you go all right so guys yes just turn it into black oh, by the way yeah uh you can fill this gap now so just place some blocks here all the way there you go all right so yes yeah, same with this one all right so i will use titanium blocks for this but guys if you want to use other blocks it's up to you all right so uh gonna switch the move into one and then i'm gonna place a block here like that all right and then place one two three four and five like that okay and then i will switch to uh, 45 I'm gonna make one rotation I'm gonna place one block here like that all right and then place it here all right and then match rotation change the move into two place some blocks like this okay there you go uh, yeah you can even add some more blocks like that all right and then switch the move into one and check match rotation and then place a block here okay and then all right um wait not that one but here okay 
And then, yes, place a block here. There you go. And then switch the move into two. And then, yes, place some blocks. Yes, and then for this one, yes, uh, switch move. Rotate one like this, all right? So make sure the rotation of your block is like this. All right, we're going to place one more here. Like that. And then place one here. And then here, okay? There you go. The match rotation. Start with here. Fill this gap. There you go. And also, uh, yeah, by the way, switch the move into two. There you go. All right. As for this part, this is going to be for the tank trucks. All right. So uh, with the help of the trowel tool, I will move this. All right. Using a uh, scale 0 0.5 like this. Okay. And then going to place one more here and also here. All right, and then switch to 45, and check match rotation, switch the move into one, and then place a block here and also here. All right, and then uh, move into two, place one block here, and also here, delete this, and then delete this, all right? And then yes, match rotation, so place a block here, and also here. There you go, yes, you can add some more here. There you go. All right, yes, and yeah, by the way, uh, I want to clone this, but I'll, yeah, I'll do it later. So fill this gap first, all right? So just do this, follow these steps. All right, uh, yeah, in this part, guys, yeah, sorry, delete these parts. Because I want some, you know, rotation here. So, yeah, change the movie to 1, rotate 45. That is correct. Place a block like that. And then match rotation. All right. Place a block like that again. All right. And then, yes, just fill this gap. All right. And check match rotation. Change the movie to 1. All right. And then place a block like this. All right. And then place one more like that. There you go. And then, yes, place some blocks here there you go and yes just fill this gap all right and yes in this part i think yeah i'll add some more block here there you go and also here all right and then change the move into one make one rotation and then place a block like this and also here all right and then switch the move into two. All right. Place a block there and also here. You can delete this now. And then, yeah, match rotation. Place a block here and also here. All right. There you go. And also here, of course. Yes. All right. Look at that. Beautiful design. All right. And then uh, I'm going to clone this. There you go. So as you can see, the paint here are overlapping black and white. So yes, we're going to do something about it. So what I'm going to do, oh, this one should not be like that. Uh, yeah, just move it. Oh, some parts are already moved. What the? <laughs> All right. So yeah, these parts are already moved. And actually, that's the target. We just need to move them using 0.5. There you go. Actually, clone. We have to clone this. This part is supposed to be cloned. Okay, so yeah, I'll just select everything again. All right. So yes, because I have to clone this. All right, there you go. So yeah, I'll just put it back like this. All right, there you go. So when it's cloned, it looks way better, right? So for this one, yes, what we're going to do is we are going to clone. So this is supposed to be the step all right there you go all right so clones then move it just once like that there you go all right yes and yes this part should also be cloned even this one so just clone them like that and also this so that there will be no visible tank trucks there. All right, so clone this. And same with this one. 
and then this one yes all right yes and yeah i think we should cover this part right so what i'm going to do is yes this part i will try to make this inside uh no i think this is good uh, all right so uncheck match rotation the move there you go yeah, but it's quite big that's a problem i think yeah i'll just place one here all right so with the help of the trouble tool we should move this one like that and then yes switch the move into two there you go it's supposed to be like that okay so same step with this one so place a block here and also here and then here all right and then scale switch to one there you go move them inside just once all right switch the scale into two there you go all right yeah same with this one uh move it inside switch the scale into two then move it up there you go and then yes change the move into two so just fill this gap all right all right so now we got the body well of course we also need to cover this but we have to save first all right all right guys so now yes we're gonna create this upper part all right so first yeah we can actually fill this space now so place blocks like this all right all right actually yeah delete some of this yeah i like this part to so delete that part and yeah that is where we are going to place our chair there you go so we're gonna sit there all right yes cool and then yeah at the back part you know you know my style in creating town i like to you know add some little details so yes with the help of this uh, tool we are going to uh, shrink this a little like that using 0 0.5 there you go all right really nice yes and yeah this is probably where we are going to place our turret so what i'm going to do is of course i'm going to use this wheel all right so yeah just place the wheel like this switch the move into one and then yes just place it at the center all right and then switch to 1.9 and then yeah shrink it like that so make sure there is a point one space there that's very important and actually uh, we can move this a little maybe using one there you go so yes this one is at the center or maybe yeah we can move it a little back so that it is a little farther to the chair all right so maybe yeah one more like that there you go so actually uh yeah i want to shrink this too there you go oh 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 wait i think that's too much <laughs> I'll switch to point one just to make sure these are aligned properly like that. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Actually, this I want to uh, bring this up. There you go. And with this part, I'm going to use these rods. All right. So yeah, make rotation like this. Oh wait. 0.5 i think this will do yes so place it like that there you go so yeah later we can match their color and yes for the grills all right so i'm gonna add here i think i want to start at the center there you go yes and then uh yeah i'll just clone this to make it more accurate like that then clone to three just move it three times so like this okay so one two and three using 0 0.5 scale okay so one two and three there you go and then uh, i want to make this looks hot so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna place this neon block so yeah just place it like that all right well the easy thing is uh wait i'll just turn this into dark for a while all right and this one 
all right using uh, move 0.5 move it inside like this all right and then for this one all right we're gonna use uh 1.9 to pull to push it down like that there you go and then yeah i'll probably turn this into orange to make it looks hot all right yes <laughs> really awesome and yeah i think we can change the color now so yeah i'll use this green color all right so guys of course the color it's up to you okay all right guys look at this look at this this is so beautiful guys yes no scaling tool guys but we are able to create this body of the tank all right of course we are not yet done because uh yeah gonna add some more details for this all right uh maybe not there all right uh maybe here yeah so i'll just add this okay then uh well with the help of the troll tool so yeah i'll do at least 0.5 we're gonna push it maybe twice like that then i'm gonna pull it there you go and then uh i'm going to use the torch so yes guys this is for the access of our tank so there you go so i think i can move this a little maybe using 0 0.2 move this uh, oh wait what happened ah all right move this a little yeah let there you go and then yes push it inside there you go yeah cool huh <laughs> i like it and then uh so that it is not that back see so uh yeah switch to 45 make one rotation and then change the move into one yes and then place some block here then match rotation switch the move into two all right place the block like this there you go then delete and then delete there you go so now we have the exos maybe turn this into black all right so yes of course guys the color again or maybe i'll just turn everything into black but of course guys the color again it's up to you okay okay now we are ready to create the turret so well i will start here at the middle so yeah i'll just uncheck mass rotation gotta place one block here all right and for this one i will use 0.9 to move this down there you go all right yes so now uh we can place a block here at the side here here and here we can actually delete oh uh, no no need to delete that for a while all right so i gotta place one block here and also here i think yeah this is just right so place one and two three and four there you go there you go all right and then maybe yeah one two all right so one rotation and then change the move into one place a block ah no <laughs> here there you go all right and then match rotation switch the move into two and then just place some blocks here there you go and then uncheck match rotation move into one place a block here okay there you go oops delete this and then delete this all right so for this all right place a block here and also here here and here there you go all right maybe yeah match rotation and place one more here and here but this one i will have to move this using one just move it one like that all right there you go actually you know what guys i think this is too wide because yeah we have to move these blocks all right so yeah using one i'll move it a little inside like this okay and also this one this part there you go so just move it one like that okay there you go and yes actually here we can yeah there you go place a block here like that and here and then place block like that all right delete this and then here 
All right, perfect. And then I check match rotation, change the move into one, place a block here and here. There you go. And then place, change the move into two. Yeah, it's much easier. Place, place like that, all right? And then, yes, here, change the move into one, place a block here and also here. There you go. Then here, here, and here. There you go, yes. And then, yes, please, please, just fill this gap, all right? There you go, all right. And then, yeah, we can just place a block here. There you go. But, of course, this part should also be filled. Oops, match rotation, of course. There you go. All right, and yes, this part, oops. Just place some blocks here. All right, uh, I want to move this using 0 0.5 so that you know it will add some details and contrast. All right, there you go. And of course, uh, this is a double barreled uh, anti aircraft tank. So we are going to place two wheels on its sides. All right, so uncheck match rotation, change rotate to 90. All right, so place perhaps one block here and also here. And then we can move this one, two. There you go. And then one and two. And then switch to point four. All right, then move it like that. All right. So yes, make sure there's that one point one space there. It's very important. There you go. All right. Well, we can now change the color of this. Okay. All right, guys. So time to do the gun itself or the barrel itself. Oh wait, gotta delete this part. All right. But well, of course, I will also use titanium block for this. All right. There you go. So I will start here at the middle. And then what I'm going to do is, yes, I'm going to move this using point 0.9. Just move this inside. There you go. All right. And then I'm going to add one more here. There you go. And then uh, I want to add some, you know, slope here. All right, guys. So, yeah, again, uh, make rotation like this. So place it here and also here. Change the move into two. Place a block here and also here. Delete this and then delete this. Change the move into one. And place a block here like that. And then yes. Oops. It's too much. And then here. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. And yeah, I don't like a space here. So what I'm going to do is going to place one more block here. But... Of course, we have to move this using the scaling tool. So I will use a, I mean, a trowel tool. So using 0 0.1, I have to move this. So it is important that there's a 0 0.1 space here and also here. There you go. All right. So for this part, yes. Uh, well, actually, we can do this also here. So, yes. Just place a block here and also here. And then here. Then here. All right, delete this. And then delete this. And then, yeah, switch the move into one. There you go. And also here. All right. Then place a block here, delete this, place a block here, and then yes. All right, then place a block here and here, and then using scale 0 0.1 with the troll tool, just move this thing. All right, and yes, of course, also here, just move it. So you can see the spacing, there is, that's a 0 0.1 space there, all right? So now what we're going to do is, of course, we can just fill this gap, all right? So place here, all right? So yeah, match rotation will help with this one.
So, well, I want to add some blocks here. There you go. And then, yes, using the trowel tool, gonna use point five with this because I want to shrink this tree. There you go. And here, one, two, and three. There you go. And yep, I'll just uh, move this. There you go. And this. Just one time like that and yes I want to change this color there you go and of course guys now we have to do the barrel and yes we are going to use titanium rod for this all right so switch to 90 and then uncheck mass rotation then place one two three four I think that will do one two oops wrong two oops no <laughs> mass rotation yeah two tr three and four yeah delete this all right and of course guys this is not yet a barrel because this is square but if you don't have enough titanium rod i think this will do but if you have you can definitely add some more okay so uncheck match rotation change rotate to 90 all right so uh 90 right and then make one rotation like this change rotate to 15 and then make one rotation like this, all right? So one, two, three, and then four and five. There you go. So yes, one rotation, all right? For example here, one rotation and then place one block. So one rotation, place one block, all right? So same process like that, okay? And then check match rotation. And then yes, just point here, one, two and three and then here one two and three all right so same step here guys so just do this step okay all right so now we have the power look at that oh yes whoo this is so nice and yeah actually i see this in some anti-aircraft you know tank all right so i gotta change rotate to 90 and move into one there you go yep I think that will do and of course with the help of the trouble tool I will shrink this I think yeah this is awesome guys <laughs> oh my goodness yes I think I want to shrink this even more yeah maybe using 0 0.2 maybe one like that all right yeah ho <laughs> this is so nice guys this is so nice yes and well you know what i can even add some more accessories here so uh yeah rotate like this uh, this is a star of course let's change it to orange by the way yeah the color of course it's up to you and then uh i'm gonna change the move to point 45 then i will shrink this oh you know what yeah switch to five we need to shrink this one more there you go look at that awesome <laughs> well to add some details on the barrel we are going to use this bulb all right so uncheck match rotation switch the move into two and then rotate and then place one block here and here i mean the bulbs there look at that beautiful tank all right by the way yes this is also important so the wheels all right as you can see the wheel torque should be at green because guys this is heavy the turret is kind of heavy so we have to turn this into green and to control it properly perhaps the wheel speed uh maybe yeah i think five will do with this or four yeah that will definitely work i want to move the wheels all right these two wheels i just want to move this backwards there you go all right so perhaps i will use two ah, ah, there you go i think yeah that will do in this part hmm, what do you think i think i want to move this a little bit or more like that okay there you go and then yes I'm planning to add some more blocks here definitely 
There you go. All right, think yeah, this one looks better. Okay. Yes, and of course, change the color. I think I like it that, you know, this one is kind of exposed because uh yeah, look what I'm going to do with this one. So I I will make some kind of a gear like thing. Okay. So one, two, three, four and five there you go and same here so one oops one two three four and five and of course six okay and then match rotation all right so we're gonna place a block here we're gonna delete this and here here place a block and then delete delete place a block like that then delete 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 then place a block Okay, there you go, and then delete, 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 and then here. Oops. There you go. So, yes, it's like a gear-like block, right? So, delete this, and then place block, delete, delete, place a block. Then delete, 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 place a block. Okay, delete, 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 place a block here. All right. There you go. I like that. I like that. And then yes, for this, uh, change the move into one. Rotate 45. Make rotation like this. Just one. And also do it here. All right. You know what? Uh, you can actually just move it with this. Okay. There you go. I like it. Yes, this is much more detailed. And actually, you know what, guys? Uh, we actually need to turn off the collision of this. Uh, actually, you know what? Yes, I will turn up the collision of this part. Yes, so that when this one points up, it will not interfere with this. Okay, so I'll turn up the collision with that. Alright, that's okay, that's okay. And then with this part, well, just, you know, just change the color of this. Any color you like. Alright, for my gears... There you go. All right, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is even better, right? Cool. There you go. Yeah, I think I want to add some more here. Well, this uh, I'll just move this using one point nine. There you go. All right. Yes, and then perhaps I can clone this to make it uh, looks even bigger. There you go. And also this, one more cloning, but this time at the down part or the bottom part, okay? And yeah, maybe change the color like that. Yes, awesome. Awesome. Oh, per perhaps I will use gray with this. Uh, I'm gonna add some... Uh, titanium rods here so yeah make a rotation like this switch the move into five there you go and also here whoops that's too much well I want to change this color all right maybe this red all right so using this this uh, troll tool I gotta move this down using point 45 there you go all right look at that so now, uh, wait, there you go. So I will clone this using one. Oops, that's too much. Ugh. Move it one more like that. Yes, there you go. So well, yes, guys, just clone these things, all right? So one, two, three, and four. I think I, think I should change the clone into two scale two there you go there you go there you go and then there you go all right well of course I want to extend this up to here all right so this one should be two nope I think this one should be 1.4, something like that. Yes, oops. It's supposed to be clone. There you go. All right, beautiful. 
Yes, and of course, also this part. All right, so gonna clone this. There you go. All right, yes, beautiful one, beautiful one, and yes, I think that will do for a while. All right, yes, and yeah, you know what, guys, this part because this is the driver's area. All right, so I gotta add some, you know, little details here. So this is some kind of a, you know, for protection. There you go. And here, of course. Yeah, I want to shrink this. All right, so I think, yeah, I will use 0 0.2, so 1 and 2. Maybe 3 and 4, like that. There you go. So yeah, let's try. got to place a chair here. All right, so switch the move into one. There you go. Let's see. Gotta sit. All right, perfect. Yes, this is perfect, guys. <laughs> All right. Want to add some more details here? You know what? So if you flex this to your friend, you know, this is gonna be way cooler and way better. So change the move into one, and of course, we're gonna place a wheel here. But I'm going to shrink this, of course. Well, uh, yeah. I think uh, 1.9. Yes, gonna shrink this like that. There you go. And then uh, I gotta move this. Yeah, using one. Yes, there you go. And of course, because we are not using the scaling tool, uh, we'll just use this, all right? So there you go. Place a block here and also here. And then I want to shrink this a little. So yeah, maybe using 0 0.5. There you go. And then turn this into black. All right. So this will definitely rotate later. All right. All right, guys. So now it's time for us to do some, you know, controls. Yes, I will start. Ah, my mouse is kind of getting crazy here. All right. So I will start with this one. So yeah, I'll just place a switch here, all right, for a while, temporary. And yes, here, yes, because this one, I will change this wheel torque, a uh, wheel speed actually, maybe 10, and then I'll just add some orange there. There you go. And then yeah, I'll turn this into black. All right, actually yeah, I gotta delete this. I will the uh, unbind the chairs first. I mean the controls. So, for example, these two and these should not be connected. Okay. All right. And then these two wheels. This is very important that the control. All right. Disconnect it and then reconnect it. All right. So, connect this. I will use T for the forward and Y. Yes, there you go. And then, yes, this turret wheel. So this is the wheel that will control the entire turret. So I'll disconnect it first. And then connect it again. So this one is E and R. All right. And then... Guys, this one is very important. Okay, so this turret should be... Uh, these barrels, yeah, they are supposed to be connected, uh, two of them. So uh, we are going to place a block here and here. Oops, they are doubled. Yeah, switch the move into two, okay? Then place a block here and also here. There you go, delete this one. And then there you go. Oops, yeah, there you go. It's important, guys, so that when these barrels point up and down, they will be synchronized, all right? They will move up and down simultaneously. And of course, we can turn this invisible. 
and yes the collision you can turn it off it's collision off then make the it transparent all right there you go well of course guys we need to put engine on this so what i'm going to do is i will place a block here first all right i mean a button or switch and then because i have the this ultra boat motor i will use this of course but if you have this if you don't have this and only have this boat motor you can definitely use it too and yeah but definitely you need more than one of this maybe you need five or six of this all right yeah well just experiment with it guys so with this one i will use this of course so i'm gonna place it here one two oops three four and five ultra boat motor will i can now delete this yes i will have to connect all this motor boat to the wheel of course so forward w and then right d left a and then backward s well of course guys the control of this it's also up to you any controls you want or any controls where you are much more comfortable there you go so yeah we can uh, turn this transparent there you go all right well of course save it first and then reload guys so by the way guys yes of course the next step for this is the auto cannon well guys the auto cannon have a separate uh, full tutorial video so I suggest you watch it because guys that auto auto mean I mean auto minigun guys yeah we, we gotta use the minigun for this so the auto minigun have a separate full tutorial uh, yeah it's very a very short video but very very uh, useful tutorial so because guys that video is something you can also use with your other builds well probably some of you already saw my free BPs especially with fighter jets using the auto minigun and it's very very effective guys of course you can apply it here with this anti-aircraft tank so yeah uh just put two sets of auto cannon here so yes guys i will put the link on the description or in the comment section all right yeah i noticed that this one is touching these blocks that's too much Yes, that will do guys. As you can see the space, yeah, that's how you do it, okay?